Hello everybody. I got a new battle bot to show you today. Um, this is kind of why I haven't been very busy posting new videos on my YouTube channel. It's because I've been working and building this guy. It's out of the three that I have. I think this is this is the best one I've got as for like the quality of the build. I'm not using any wood. I'm using, well I guess I'll start at the base. So the floor is made out of quarter inch thick Lexan. The stuff they use for, for you know bulletproofing things. So it's very very strong and it's it's quarter inch. The walls are the next step down, not quite as thick. I, not sure how thick they are. It's like point, point one eight eight inches thick, but I could be wrong. I don't have a roof for us yet. It's still it's still a work in progress. It's functional, but it's not complete yet. So, so the drive, our two suspension, two suspension um, mounted drives out of. Um, a second generation Roomba, a vacuum, and um, it's completely self-contained, a planetary gear and a belt for it and the motors, so they're completely self-contained. And they've got really good rubber on them, so they've got a ton of grip. Um, so that's run off of, the drive is run off of this circuit board here, and with this controller. It's, this is just out of um, an RC car. This, this RC vehicle actually had a, um, it had audio and video. So it actually had jacks and bottom of this. You'd wear a headset and a one, and a, over one eye would be a view screen, and it would actually just and there was a camera on the actual on the actual um, RC car. It only put out black and white, but it was it was kind of cool. But I needed this I needed this kind of controller for the way I have this. So one one stick is one wheel, the other stick is the other wheel. So easier to control than up and down and then left and right. So yeah, that's driven off of that, um, and that's that's run off of um, ten. I think it's about ten, say t ten volts, something like that. The RC car was nine point six, so it can easily run off of ten or ten point two with no issues at all. Um, the front wheels are just like training wheels for a little bicycle for kids bicycle and okay so I I did actually lie I did use a little bit of wood but just right there so what's this is doing this to secure these in places there's a steel bar going through the wheel it's just a loose axle and a steel bar goes into the wood now the good thing with the leg stand is you it's see-through so you can see the wood's pressing down on the on the metal bars, keeping them in place. And the whole I grooved the hole in the wood just enough so the bar would still stick out the bottom. It wasn't quite enough room for the entire entire bar to go. So it's actually pushed against the Lexan a little bit, creating a very tight fit for both left and right. Um, <clears throat> the weapon. The weapon is a t is run off a 24 volt DC motor, driven by a little belt, a little V belt. Um, the actual weapon itself is a flywheel and a capstan out of an old reel to reel. So this is solid aluminum, and I notched I notched out two um, not triangle rectangle notches, one on each side, so it's got two teeth, and I literally pounded these in almost as far as they would go, 
and then I secured them with two bolts going right through it. So you can kind of see one there. Let's get a little more light. You can see one there and one there. And the bracket, the bracket for the motor's got two ball bearings in it. It was actually a perfect match. The the bearing assembly and the shaft weren't together, but it was it just had to be the right size and it was a perfect fit. So go, so it's got six screws holding it holding it to here, and then the L brackets holding it to the frame there. And then I built I got some L more L brackets from the hardware store. And built all around it to reinforce it so there's no flexing at all. I could probably stand on this and it wouldn't flex. It's that strong now. Um, what else? Oh yeah. With, with my other bots, I either had to turn the weapon on with just a switch on the back or one upgrade I did with my second bot, the other vertical spinner, is I rigged up a second remote. So one remote actually drives the bot, a second remote actually turns the weapon on and off. It's not very um, efficient or effective. So I went one step further. So I took an RC receiver board out of uh, another RC car and this was a very small RC car and I actually fit it in here. That's why there's two antennas. Now I did take the screws out, show, I'll, I'll show you. So this is the main board that was built into this this uh, controller. This is the board out of the other controller. Much smaller. But it fits in there, so I've got two. I've on this. I've got two signals being set up. I've got 49 megahertz and I've got 27 megahertz. The 49 megahertz runs the drive, and the 27 megahertz runs the weapon. Um, like I said, the, so the weapon motor is 24 volts. I'm running it off of a 24 volt lithium ion set, and because this is only like a 6 volt board I can't put 24 volts to it, I'll destroy it the moment I put power to it so I've rigged up a 12 volt relay so all this does is it actually it actually switches the relay coil on, energizes the coil and that, and that moves the points and triggers the motor and that's what the switch I put in on the side does. So, weapon on, weapon off, on, off. So, I think it's quite ingenious. However, I, I seem to have some minor um, signal issues, I don't know. Whenever I run the motor, this thing doesn't really like responding to this, even though it's different frequencies. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. Should I, should I should I put some chokes around the motor wires to eliminate interference? Anyone got any ideas why this is an issue um, or suggestions of what I could do to improve the signal integrity of each of each frequency? I, I like the input on it. Um, so I'll do a little I'll do a little weapon weapon spin up test here, just kind of. Did you hear what it sounds like? And I'll show the RPM on it. So I'll just flip, flip the power. I'll leave the drive off because I don't need that. All right. So if I, I'll flip my flip my switch on here.
that'll that'll get you about 5,800 on a full charge. And I figured it out. I figured it out about with the uh, diameter of the wheel and how far the teeth stick out that the the very tip of the blades are doing about 78 kilometers per hour. I've actually had this up at the parking lot near me and tried out against a, like a four foot long piece of two by four. And it actually flung the, the two by four about five feet into the air, which is far more than what I thought this little weapon could do. It, it's actually proven to be, to be very effective. Um, well, I, other than a drive test, It'll be difficult to do holding the camera and driving it, but I'll just kind of show you. It doesn't like reverse too well, too much, but forward is much better. But I don't have enough room in here, but you guys, you guys get the idea. It's not fast, but it's, you know, it's, it's decent. So, um, you guys will be seeing some future videos of this destroying some things because the weapon itself has already proven to be very effective at destroying things. And, um, I've updated some of the, the other BattleBot to have a higher RPM on the weapon as well. So, you'll be seeing some of that. And, um, among other things. So, um, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. And, um,. Please, do please let me know on the, the frequency issues if there's anything I can do to improve it. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.